Hello you lot, welcome back to the channel. Um, no song this week because after the success of my Premier League predictions video, yes I really did say Palace would finish 10th. Ah oh boy. I'm going to review every single Premier League kit for this season. Before we start, if you stumbled across this video because one of your mates has said, listen to what this idiot is saying, then do me a solid and subscribe to my channel for weekly football idiocy. Right, there's over 50 kits to get through, so let's crack on. And bottom of the pile, Man City's third shirt. Yep, we start with a big one. It looks like someone's put a light coloured shirt into a dark wash by accident. Absolutely terrible, deservedly bottom. Next up, Norwich away. Ah, this looks like a goalkeeper training kit in ketchup red. In fact, if McDonald's ever formed a football team, this is exactly the shirt I'd expect them to wear. In at 50, Southampton's home shirt. How can you mess up red and white stripes so badly? The black bits on the shoulders look like the designer forgot to finish doing the kit. And the sponsor's logo, bleh, absolutely awful. At 49, Norwich's third shirt. Looks like Area have produced some serious areas, errors, errors this season for the, for the Canaries. Sorry. The lads here almost look embarrassed to be wearing it. Looks like a cheap knockoff polo shirt you'd buy down the market for a fiver. Awful. Next up, Burnley away. No. This one looks like a Windows 95 desktop background. No thanks. At 47, Southampton away. Again with the horrible, horrible sponsors logo. And that weird mesh makes it look like they're wearing road hazard signs on their shirt. Terrible. Next up, Leicester away. Adidas don't normally get kits wrong, but this one looks like the design from the office carpet that I once did work experience in. Next up, Sheffield United away. It's the same off the shelf design that Leicester have got for their away kit, only this one looks like the opening titles to the Matrix. And if you don't understand that reference, you're definitely too young. Go and ask your dad. At 44, Southampton third shirt. Lads, seriously, what is it with the shoulder pads? It's not the 1980s anymore. Next up, Newcastle's home shirt. What is wrong with just classic, thin, black and white stripes? This looks like someone's trying to paint a road. And look how annoyed the lads are to be wearing this. Fun 88. No, I don't think so. At 42, Everton's home kit. Now, Umbro said this design is based on the classic console game Tetris, which is ironic because in Tetris, all the pieces fit into place, but Everton's team constantly feels like a jigsaw puzzle that just won't fit together. Next up, Watford's home shirt. Ah yes, here we are, Watford strolling out in that classic black and yellow half shirt that they've become famous for. I mean seriously, what the actual f Next up, West Ham's third shirt. Nope. Next up, Aston Villa's home shirt. Absolutely zero imagination has gone into this one. It could have been okay, but it's been ruined by the giant W88 sponsors logo on the front, which is an ambitious amount of wins this season lads, I don't think it's going to happen. At 38, Brighton's away shirt. Gotta try harder lads here. Most preschool children could have designed this one. At 37, Aston Villa's away shirt. A bit busy this one lads, and it looks like the weatherman is trying to tell us it's gonna be torrential rain all day. Next up, Burnley home. This one's about as imaginative as Aston Villa's home shirt. In fact, I think it might literally be the exact same shirt. At 35, West Ham's home shirt. Not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but loses a few places on account of being more like an away shirt than a home shirt. At 34, Newcastle's third shirt. Strange of Newcastle to design a shirt based on Jack Colback's hair, but okay. Next up, Bournemouth third. Who doesn't like a fluorescent green away kit? Me. Me, I don't like it. At, in at 32, Palace's home shirt. Apart from looking like a kit straight out of Pro Evolution Soccer, the home shirt for my team, South London Eagles, sorry, Crystal Palace, is fine. At 31, Bournemouth's away shirt. Better than their third kit. That's literally all I've got to say about it. Next up, Liverpool's third shirt. I think I had a mouse mat that looked exactly like this around 2001. Also, it's a good colour because the grass stains from salad diving won't show up. Next up, Watford away. Another one of those weird Adidas office carpet designs, but this is probably the best of a bad bunch this season. And it doesn't look as bad as their home kit, which isn't saying much. Next up, Burnley's third kit. It's actually hard to hate on this kit, seeing as it's been designed in partnership with Burnley in the community to plant trees in the local area. And plus I quite like it, it's all right, it's not bad. 
in at 27th, Newcastle away. You know bad Spider-Man, right? If he was into football, this is exactly the kit that he would choose. Which is ironic, because Newcastle are actually owned by a supervillain. Next up, Man City's home kit. Man City's home kit is absolutely fine, but what I really want to talk about is their 125th anniversary shirt that they wore in the community, charity, whatever that shield is called these days. This is absolutely gorgeous. If I could put this top of my list, I would. It doesn't technically count as a shirt, but it is amazing. I literally want one. Next up, Spurs away. Deli and Eric don't seem convinced by this one, but I quite like it. It's a classic with a little bit of a fade design that isn't too much in your face. Take note, Southampton. In at 24, Sheffield United home shirt. Ah, classic red and white stripes. Seriously, take note, Southampton. Next up, Norwich's home shirt. Norwich home shirts are always quite nice, and this one is quite fine. Next up, Brighton's home shirt. Yeah, as a Palace fan, I don't really want to put a Brighton shirt this high up the list, and even though it looks like an off-the-shelf Sunday league kit, it is quite nice to be fair to them. In at 21, May United's third shirt. Smart, this one, especially the three black stripes on the shoulder. Although the print design looks like something that would be on the wallpaper of my grandma's house. Still, not a bad effort. In at 20, Bournemouth's home shirt. Like Brighton, could be a Sunday league kit, but at least they haven't messed with the classic. Seriously, Southampton, are you taking notes at the back there? Next up, Wolves home shirt. You just can't go wrong with this one, can you? And Adidas have done another decent job, so well done. In at 18, Spurs home shirt. This one does what it says on the tin. And again, if you don't get that reference, ask your dad. Next up, Liverpool away. Ah, uh, it's good to see that Liverpool are environmentally aware, having recycled Bournemouth's away shirt from last season. I like that, lads. Well done. In at 16, Liverpool's home shirt. Classy, a strong look, beautiful. Oh wait, sorry, no, that's Fabinho's hair. This retro home shirt does look nice though. Next up, Chelsea's home shirt. Now this shirt has got a design that pays homage to Stamford Bridge and the construction and support that it takes to build a stadium. Which is apt, actually, when you think about the support that Eden Hazard has had to do to carry the team for the last few years. In at 14, Leicester's home shirt. I'm genuinely finding it hard to see any difference between this photo of Leicester's home shirt last season and the photo of their home shirt from this season. Oh, wait, I've got it. Yeah, Jamie Vardy's had a haircut. Next up, Chelsea's away shirt. Not enough shirts these days have 90s style button-up collars, so that's why it gets my vote. Plus, it looks like a polo shirt you'd wear on a night out with your mates. In at 12, Wolves away. Great shirt. I mean, nothing else to say about it. Just lovely. In at 11, Man City away. Another black shirt, and I do love a black away kit. And this one is very nice, although for some reason it's being modelled on the set of a 90s kids TV show. Into the top 10 now, and at number 10, Palace's third kit. Probably not as nice as last season's away shirt, but you just can't go wrong with a red and blue sash on a white kit. Classic. At number nine, Man United's home kit. Man United should always be just red, and this is exactly that, a very classy design. Although, lads, I'm pretty sure you can only have a gold badge if you've won the Premier League, like, recently. Number eight, Man United away. A lot of people probably won't like this shirt, but I really like it. I think it's decent, especially that the print has been designed on a wall that Paul Pogba once stood next to. Number seven, Everton away. There just aren't enough football shirts that are in the colour of... Coral? Is that coral? Peach? I don't know. Either way, I like it. Number six, Arsenal's third shirt. Arsenal have three really nice kits this season, starting with this Real Madrid-inspired third shirt. Hmm, maybe it's been designed to help Ozil rediscover his Real Madrid form. And number five, Arsenal's home shirt. Adidas and Arsenal just work together, don't they? And this is a really nice kit. And look how delighted the lads are to be wearing it. And number four, West Ham away. This is beautiful, and not just designed on West Ham kits from the 80s, but also 1966 when they won the World Cup. Don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. At number three, Palace away. Just gorgeous. Nothing else to say about it. What a kit. In at number two, Arsenal away. I mean, you can't get much better than this, can you? Actually, you literally can, because it's only second in the list. But still, what a beautiful kit. Adidas have outdone themselves with this one. Amazing. And in at number one, Leicester's third kit. 
probably the last time Leicester will ever come in first place, but I absolutely love this pink Adidas Leicester third kit. Hey Adidas, please send me one. I love it. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment below with your thoughts on my list of Premier League kits for the 1920 season. Have I been about right or have I been super harsh on your team's kits? Comment below and let me know. Please also drop a like on this if you're enjoying these kind of videos and follow me on Instagram where I post regular football silliness every day and I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well so give me a follow on there too. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel for weekly football silliness. That's it. I'm off. Enjoy your week. See you again next Friday.